Darcy, uh, um, you must be uh, pretty pleased with your last couple of months of, of football personally for you. Yeah, it's been good. Um, I think it's just a little bit more consistent, which is nice, and starting to get a little bit more reward um, for the competing and stuff. But yeah, I think the last month or so from a team perspective has been really good as well. We're um, playing a bit more our brand of footy. It's just about doing it consistently now. What's changed for you? Uh, not a lot, really, I don't think. Um, still trying to compete as much as I can and, and get up the ground and get to as many contests. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just getting a little bit more luckier in front of goal now. How much does uh, confidence play to it for you? Are you the sort of player that um, when you get a bit of momentum like week in, week out, that you, you sort of thrive on that a bit? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think most players are like that. But um, I think it's definitely changed a little bit the last couple of years. I've sort of stayed a little bit more level-headed. Um, and yeah, just tried to sort of look for the positives in most things um, and just keep moving forward, I guess. I don't really dwell on too much of what's happened in the past anymore, which is, I think, a real positive for where I'm at. You've had a bit more pressure sort of thrust on you this season with Tex sort of missing a fair few games with, with his back. Have you, have you found that experience having him out of the side and obviously Riley being out of forward line for a lot of the season? Um, yeah, I think it's been, a, it's been a good challenge. I've been able to play a little bit more with, uh, with Ball Ace and Cookie and a few of those boys that have had to step up and sort of replace uh, Tex and Filthy. Um, and yeah, I think it's been really fun. I think it's become a really young forward line without Tex and everyone sort of had to pick up the slack. So um, yeah, it's obviously great when Tex is out there, but I think the boys, while he wasn't, it was um, yeah, a good experience. What, is it, what does the potential return of Riley do for, for you and your game? Um, yeah, I think nothing really changes. I think, um, yeah, he's obviously going to compete ahead of the ball and, and do what Filthy does. But, um, yeah, I think it's just going to strengthen the team when it does happen. But, um, yeah, I think everyone will go about their business as usual. Do you think you can take a... No, no, I was going to say another step. You've taken plenty of steps this year. But can you, can you go to a new level with Riley in there, taking another quality defender and perhaps some of the forward 50 opening up a little bit more? Yeah, I... Don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what will happen. I think, um, yeah, I have no idea. Did you, um, early days, did you um, feel that pressure or that external noise about there needing to be someone to replace Tex and life after Tex? And, and you were always billed as that. Did, did you ever struggle with that pressure at all? Um, no, not really. I think I've, oh, I haven't really thought about it in that way. I've been lucky enough to play with Tex for a while now and I've sort of developed along my own rate. So, um, yeah, I think things have come about slowly, but yeah, that's never been a pressure of mine. I've sort of always wanted to develop in my own way and, and play my own game. I've never really thought of replacing people. I think it's a massive privilege to be able to get to play with Tex. He's obviously a star of the game, and yeah, I want to do that for as long as I can. Do you feel you play, it, feel, it seems as though you two almost feed off each other. Do you feel like you play better when, when he's in the team? Um, yeah, no idea. I obviously love playing. I think everyone loves playing with Tex, so you definitely walk taller when he's out there. I don't know whether the stats line up, but um, it definitely is a lot of fun playing with him. He's he's someone you can rely on, and he always performs. So it's um, yeah, it's definitely good fun. Do you reckon he'll stick around next year? Oh, yeah, yeah, not sure. Hopefully, I think yeah. I don't know. He's still got plenty of good footy left in him. So yeah, I don't know. I want Texas here as long as he wants to be. Like we've sort of touched on when he's been out this year, you've obviously ended up being sort of the focal point in, in the forward line. How do you learn off him to sort of be that, that guy when he's not there and obviously long term eventually when he does hang up the boots? Yeah, I think he's obviously really good around the club, so it's going through footage and, and just, yeah, picking up what he sees. So whenever, I think whenever he gives tips to anyone's, everyone's ears are open. So, um, yeah, it's not only that what he does on field, it's the 280 games of experience that he provides off field as well. So um, he's done it for a long time, so he's always willing to help people. And uh, yeah, when he chips in, everyone listens. A lot of talk about the, the focus on front half footy, which feels like a really uh, football term, but uh, can you tell us what uh, that looks like uh, from a training point of view and how you guys are able to enact that on going down? Yeah, I think it's just, yeah, it's literally about doing your work early and pressuring the ball, I think. it's. I think it's a focus for every team to turn the ball over in the front half. So we've just made it really simple and made it a massive focus. And I think it held up well on the weekend. We were able to do it really well. And yeah, but then again, I think everyone, every team tries to do that. So it's, yeah, like you said, it's nothing new. Do, you, do we do a few extra, those sort of drills a little bit today? Was that a focus at the key out there? Um, I don't know if we did it today. I think we did a little bit of ball movement stuff, but yeah, I'm not sure. It was a pretty light day. It was a bit of a skills session today. So it wasn't too much, too much uh, contest work. Do you enjoy the trip up to Brisbane? 
traditionally? I've only done it once, I think. I think, yeah, I only did it once last year, so it's good. It's good to get into the warm weather, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be about, well, it's usually about 20 odd degrees up there, so it'll be nicer, nicer than what it is down here, so it should be good. And what have you made of the lines? Have you looked at them very much? I mean, not necessarily in review, but just from seeing footy on in the background or, or looking at the ladder, that kind of thing. What have you made of them? Yeah, they've, they've found an extra gear, haven't they? So, um, yeah, they're obviously back to what they were sort of doing last year. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be a massive challenge for us. So, especially at the Gabba, it's going to be good fun. It's going to be a good test. And, yeah, it should be a good game of footy. Just a bit of a weird one. Zach Taylor set up some stuff on socials about his nickname being Milk. Do you know much about that? Is, is that <laughs> cool pretty quickly? I think he was smacking down the, uh, the protein milks uh, in his first couple of couple of weeks so I think a few of the boys just gave him the nickname Milk Taylor and when you play your first game you got smothered in it so backfired on him.